When I was in university, I used to like to get into all kinds of heated political debates. I think a lot of university students have that uh, tendency, and uh, I was no exception. One of my favorite uh, targets or species of sparring partners was the Marxist. I used to love to debate with Marxists. And one of the interesting things that I often came across was um, so many Marxists who seem to hold the view that their personal philosophy was just plain common sense, logical, scientific, rational, and um, pretty much indisputable, were so often likely to indulge in personal attacks, um, anger, uh, and um, vehement denunciation of anyone who disagreed with them. These people who stood for science and reason and logic and all this sort of thing. Um, later on in life, I started to debate with people on the internet, and I found out that libertarians, or I shouldn't say libertarians, but the Ayn Rand type libertarian, um, is uh, often the sort, or we, you come across the sort who, uh, in that group, who say that they, um, their point of view is just common sense. It's scientific. It's just plain rational. Uh, it's really. Uh, Anyone who would disagree with this is just disagreeing with common sense and science. And they, too, will often angrily resort to personal attack and, um, and uh, denunciation and aspersions on the mental health of anyone who disagrees with them. Well, I've come across one other example of that, and that's the uh, group that seems to at least have some sympathies in the direction of the theories of um, J. Philippe Rushton, the scientific racialist. Um, they say, oftentimes, it's impossible for us to debate our point of view, uh, because all that ever happens when we get up and try and say something is we're shouted down as racists and as uh, Nazis and all these terrible things, when if you would just debate us in a civil manner, um, we could hash this out and you could then debunk us. It wouldn't be a, a big problem here if we could just sensibly discuss this, but we're martyrs and we get nailed to a cross every time we try to debate anyone. Well, I've discovered in uh, my exploration of Rushton and his theories that his supporters are not always, but often uh, of the same ilk as the people that they detract. In other words, they're just as likely to resort to personal attacks, denunciations, um, and uh, innuendo in order to uh, debate anyone who happens to disagree with them. As I say, that's extremely ironic when Rushton himself is something of a free speech martyr and uh, is uh, often held up as uh, an example of someone who just has a controversial opinion, who is uh, fed to the sharks every time he opens his mouth with personal attacks and uh, aspersions as to his motives. Interesting how that comes up. But uh, I suppose, no matter what the theory, no matter what the ism, it's got its true believers. Thank you.